is cranberry planner here and I just purchased this moleskin recipe journal from my local Barnes and Noble and um, I'll do I'm going to do an unboxing with you and I love to cook so what I was trying to do was find some place to put all of my recipes because I am forever just putting them random places or trying to remember and so I'm hoping this would uh, help me uh, keep up with my recipes a little bit better so let's see what it is I really like the uh, embossing here where you have uh, on the outside the embossing of forks and knives look kitchen utensils so I really like that and I like that it's a little bit sturdy so on the inside I have a couple of information packets I guess and here it says, in case lost, please return to as a reward. Um, that's there. And if you open up to the very next page, that wasn't the very next page, but that's a blank page. But the very next page, it has planning, event, date, notes. And food calendar for the Northern Hemisphere. I've never even thought about using that, so I probably won't use that either. This is the Southern Hemisphere. I don't plan on using that either. So here we have, um, I may use this. It has pizza with pepperoni, different uh, calories, carbs, protein, and fat. I guess kind of an average of what you will receive with eating that some conversions I'm sure I will use that who wouldn't use that so as the tabs go here we have cocktails dessert side dishes main dishes first courses and appetizers so I really like I really like that so when you look at a page here it has difficulty so you can check whether it's easy or hard the title of the recipe probably the ingredients how many it serves Preparation time, cooking time, cooking process, wine pairings. I'm sure I won't use that. I don't drink wine. So um, preparation, so that would be uh, exactly how I would do that. Let's pick up what else go to. This is, uh, what is this? I'm going to main dishes. So if you go to main dishes, it pretty much looks the same way. And that's the way it looks throughout until you get to the back here. And then they have these tabs where you can put extra information. So you have these tabs here. Tabs. And you can put other things that you run across. And I really like that. Like if you have slow cooker recipes or bread recipes or something like that that you love to do, you can put it there. I'm trying to see if anything is in the back. Okay, in the back we have here. Oh, I'm sure I won't use that. But here, I like this. So here we would have it numbered. All right, on the back it is numbered and it has planning, food, calendar, the, um, with the northern and the southern hemisphere, food facts, everything you saw in the front, but it has page numbers. So just like any other book, it has an index. So according to how many pages are in the front, you can see that's how many pages you will have until you get to side dishes. And then how many pages you would have until you get to desserts. So you really are making your own little recipe book. Now all the way in the back, it comes included with some stickers. And these stickers, upside down, has best ever, healthy, quick, 
great tips, seasonal items like you may have a soup you love in the winter or cold pasta dish you may like in the summer or something. And these are What If Love This uh, Shopping if you need to go get something from the grocery store. And here is what you can use. Oh my goodness, that is not good. But here we have uh, my favorites. Wine shops, events, cooking courses, tasting events, online stores, likes, remember. And this is what you can put on these extra tabs here. And let me tell you how many extra tabs you have. I was thinking about that would be something good to know. You have. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have six. You have six extra tabs. So this is the mole skein. Passions Recipe Journal for the Lovers of Your Life. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Cranberry Planner out.